What's up, friends? Your girl, Quinn, and I am back with another video, guys. I am back, I am back, and I am back. So, y'all, I literally, like, just got out the shower, y'all. Literally just got out the shower. And right now, I'm just putting my skincare routine on my face. And, you know, as I was in the shower, I was sitting here basically thinking, like, I want to try to sit here and start, like, a whole new journey, you want to say? I guess you can call it. Go put that crayon down before you scratch up the wall. And what I mean by that, guys, is basically me trying to stop eating pork. That's the start. I want to stop eating pork for 2023. I don't eat pork anyway. And I know, like, this, the whole idea of trying to start, like, a new New Year, new me thing, I'm not really big on that at all. Like, I'm not big on that at all. But I don't eat pork I rarely eat pork, so I think for, it's best for me if I can just, like, stop eating it all together. That would be, like, fantastic. So, that's one, one of my goals I want to do is stop eating pork for the new year and uh, hopefully before the new year. I want the only re reason why I said before then, because I want to do, like, more research on what pork contains. I know pork can be in chips, drink. I don't drink pop anyway. But I very, 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 like once in the, every blue moon drink pop. And only pop I do drink if I do drink it is ginger ale. Only because like if I have like an upset stomach, y'all always know that. We just think that ginger ale just fits upset stomach. I don't know how. But that's like the only pop that I do drink if my stomach hurting. But I'm about to stop like drinking that as well because... If I want to stop drinking pop, I might well just stop drinking it all together. Like, that's just how I look at it. So that's what I want to do, just stop drinking pop. I've been trying to work out more. I work out, like, literally, like, was it last week? Week before last? It was last week, y'all. It was last week, and I was trying to work out. I did actually work out. And when I tell y'all, my leg was on fire. Like, my leg was literally on fire. So, whew, honey, child. My legs was hurting li literally for like a week straight. And then my husband was like, um, you want to, you going to work out. And I told him today, like, you know, I want to work out and stuff like that. And he was like, you want to work out. And he basically was telling me like, you want to work out. And your legs was hurting last week when you worked out. But me, y'all, I'm more so, and I'm trying to get my husband to, put a, to do the same thing. I'm more like the type of person, like I'm very... I'm very, like, consistent, and I'm very motivated. So, with me, even though my left was hurting, I was still, like, I just stopped working out for, like, the rest of that week. And I was, like, y'all, I was barely walking around the house, y'all. Like, literally barely walking around the house, okay? So, with that being said, guys, it was, like, I want to do it again. Because I feel that it's something it's more, it's more in me than that I can do for myself, okay? Like, I don't want to just have... I, I'm the kind of person, I don't want no excuses. I don't. Um, I'm trying to teach myself that more and more. So if that makes sense, like, there's no room for excuses. So I'm really trying to teach myself that. And it's like, I got to go back in the bathroom, y'all, because my light in my room is just, like, so dim. But, yeah, I'm just trying to teach myself that more and more. Like, it's time for no, it's not no excuses. So... The more I tell myself that no excuses allowed, then the more, you know, my body get equipped to it. So that's where we at with that. So I want to work out more. I want to stop eating pork. And I'm not the, really the type of person that really, and when I mean work out more like that, I'm not really the type of person that really like actually go to the gym and work out. When I work out, I can go in my bedroom and work out only because the type of workout I do. I figured that you don't have to get a whole gym membership for you to work out. And that's how I'm looking at it. I don't have to get a whole gym membership. So that's what I'm going to do. And then furthermore, especially with me finna start working from home. Um, I'm actually finna start working from home. And me sitting at the computer all day, it's like, you know, you eating, you know, answering the phones, this, that, and the other. And you just sitting, all, sitting, eating, and answering the phones all day. And I don't want to be the type to eat all day and just sit and get big as a damn house because I'm working from home. No, I don't, want, I don't want that. So I am going to, like I said, work out more every day. Like, I worked out this morning. 
I worked out this morning. I was out of breath. And that's another thing. Like, everybody be telling me, like, I got a pretty shape, this, that, and other. Yes, I love my shape. Like, I'm very, very, very confident within my shape. And my, my husband was like, let me put this bonnet on, y'all, because, honey. So, my husband was basically asking me, like, um, why you want to work out, like, this, that, and other. But... I feel like I'm out of shape, like I'm out of breath. Like every time I work out or whatever like that, I'd be out of breath. So to keep myself like in shape or whatever like that, I can feel like I'm, I can just work out. Like, so basically once I work out and stuff like that, and then I told you guys earlier, my goal that I want to achieve, like, and I'm going to achieve, I, I'm going to change. I have a life that I, I'm going to achieve. Stop eating pork, working out. And my goal is to hit 160. I know I can do it. I know for a fact I can do it. Right now, I'm at like, actually, I can check the scale right now. I'm going to let y'all know exactly what I am. And I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. So it's like a lot of stuff that I want to achieve. And I'm going to achieve. 140. Bam. See? I, I know I can do it. I got 20 more pounds to gain. 20 more pounds. I was just like literally last week, week before last. Like the past two weeks. I was like... 132, 133, and I'm at 140, flat out, and I ain't even got no shoes on, literally. So, honey, I want to get to 160. 160 is my weight gain that I want to get to. Only because, like I told y'all before in my other video, that that's how much I weighed when I was pregnant with my, what back? That's how much I weighed when I was pregnant with my first son, and that weight looked great on me. I love that weight on me. I didn't gain a lot of weight with Zaire which is my second son because I was high risk and then my weight gain, which is I wasn't like losing weight, but my weight gain was fluctuating. I got this Insure Plus that I've been drinking. I bought a pack of six and I've been like drinking them like crazy. I had to literally slow down because I had to go back to the store. Yes. Yes, baby, let me see. So I literally had to slow down because I had to go back to the store and get more. I got to go all the way to Walmart. Y'all already know I am about Walmart, honey. But again, I'm not going to let that be an excuse as to why I'm not gaining my proper weight. So with that being said, I am going back to Walmart. Honey, child, let me see. I'll probably go tomorrow. If I don't go tomorrow, I'm going to go for sure Saturday. No, I'm going to go tomorrow. I'm going to go tomorrow because I got some stuff I need to get from Walmart anyway. At this insurer, I believe it's like been working. I don't know if it's this did, if it's this or the food, because I have been like eating like crazy. But um, I'm always like eating, eating, eating this. That's probably why my house always empty, because we always be eating, like eating like it's not no tomorrow. But hey, it is what it is. This insure is very, very sweet. Um, I make sure after I drink this insure, I brush my teeth right away. Not because it makes your breath stain, but only because it's very sweet and anything sweet is not good for your teeth at all, if y'all know. But this is way too sweet and I'm trying to keep my, you know, teeth maintained as well because like I said, I got a, you know, a lot to do. Um, I got to get my wisdom teeth pulled out and stuff and I just want to keep the rest of my teeth healthy. So, yeah. That's why I basically came on here tonight with you to let you guys know. Just basically share with you guys like my 2023 goals that I have. I'm not trying to say like a new year, new me type thing. What I'm basically trying to say is it's just something that's been on my mind heavy. And I believe I can do it. I can do it. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to push myself to do it. I'm going to push myself to get to 2,000 subscribers. I'm going to push myself to stop eating pork all the way. Even though I don't really eat pork like that. But I'm not, I'm trying to get more in depth as to what food, what specific food have pork in it. So I can be aware of what to eat and what not to eat. If y'all get what I'm trying to say. And my weight gain to 160. I'm at 140. Like I said, I got 20 more pounds. Your girl gonna get there, okay? So I'm gonna take y'all on this weight gain journey with me. And that's really about it. And me just being more and more consistent with my YouTube channel, even though I'm consistent already, but you never, you can always, you can always do better than what you're doing. Point blank period, I'm just gonna let it out. You can always do better than what you're doing. Okay, y'all, I'm done drinking this and sure. I literally had to just keep walking around the house and drinking it. As you guys can see, it's all gone. Uh, now it's all gone. It's all gone. So, the next thing I'm going to do is brush my teeth.
All right, y'all. So I'm done brushing my teeth. And this vlog wasn't basically intended to be too long at all. Um, it was just me coming home here to talk to y'all once again. And just letting y'all know that you basically can do anything that you can put your mind to. And I have to keep telling myself that every day, like literally every day, you can do everything, anything that you put your mind to. I listen to Steve Harvey uh, motiv motivational speeches every day. Like literally, I get up every day after I drop my son off at school. That's the first thing I'm listening to when I come back or if, on my way back from dropping him off. Like I just have to keep that, keep molding that in my head. That you're gonna be, you're gonna be successful. You're gonna do this. You're gonna do that. Like, I have a whole like journal, y'all, of me just. I just have visions, okay. Make sure y'all comment pink cards down below to let me know that y'all watch this video, okay. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so y'all can be notified when our cool shake drop these bangers because they coming for us in 2022. That's what. Period, y'all. Period. 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 And I'm gonna see y'all in another video.